Hi everyone, I'm going to make a video for the Briar Clydesdale Mare and Foal set. I also found these guys at Tuesday morning. I hit the jackpot when I went. Um, and I saw them before and I didn't pick them up, but then their price was just right and they're a very cute set. And each one is a little bit different because these guys almost have like a little bit of a metallic sheen to them. but. I've seen all different shades on these molds in general for like this set. Um, so I will just do a quick overview of both models so you can see them. I love the Clydesdale full mold so I was like oh he's so adorable. Um, but they all have different shading too like some have darker shading on their faces. Um, there was two for me to choose from and I was just looking for the ones that had a little bit crisper markings um, what their shading looked like because some models will have lighter or darker shading and it, it's just a buyer preference um, so I picked up these guys so I will do a little overview for you and so this foal had a little bit darker shading on his face and like he's like a very, I guess they would say a very light bay, but he's almost like buckskin. That's like that's how light he is to me. And he has dappling, but they're not overwhelming. You can probably see them a little bit. Um, I like it when you can see them just a little bit, and it's not like wicked stand out in your face. They're a little bit of that honeycomb fish scale type, but they're not dark enough to make it like pop out into your face so badly. So I will put him down so you can see all his angles. And I'll flip him or her, whatever it is. And these molds, um, they have a rougher texture look to them, like, uh, it almost looks like they have, like, hair, um, I don't think the video will pick it up too well, but that's something that you'll see on these guys, um, and I don't know if it's just the way the mold comes out, but this is the mare from the set. down so I can spin her for you. Back side. Spin. But these guys are so light and metallic-y they almost have that buckskin quality to them. They don't have any dorsal stripes um, so that's the difference between like a buckskin and a dun. They're very similar in color, but duns will have the primitive markings like dorsal stripe, leg barring. These guys don't have any of that. They just have um, that lighter um, buckskin color to them. And they have the dark mane and tail and the dark legs. So I think they were intended to be bay, but they're starting to look more like buckskins. But they are a cute set, and um, I didn't rush out to get these when they were first released. Um, I found them at a really good price, so like I figured, why not? And they are a cute set if you're looking for like a mother and a baby foal. Um, but I will probably end up adding the foal definitely to my show string and maybe the mare. Um, I have so many draft horses as is, um, it's very difficult to choose from what I have. Um, so if I do show them and they do well, that would be great. But they're just something nice to add to my show string and collection. I hope this video helped you guys decide um, if you like them or not.